Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Napoleon Total War Darth Mod here today on the channel. We're back with episode 9 of my French Napoleon series. Here today, we're going to try and take out the Swedish. Bernadotte is going to be leading the charge because we eventually want to make him the king, the crown prince of Sweden. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new and here with notifications on, leave it in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series, and we'd like me to expand and conquer. So in the last episode, we managed to take Moscow and defeat the Russians. We finished off the Prussians and Austrians in the previous episode. So Napoleon and the rest of the Grand Armée that's not going to Sweden is heading back to France. Now, surprisingly, the Swedish have actually disembarked an army in Aquitaine. I did not expect that. Uh, we do have more military forces as well being recruited in France. So we're going to be able to get like top tier, elite, end tier um, infantry, which is quite cool, and units. Uh, we're, we're still at war with the British, major power-wise, and the Swedes, for the minor. So, I'll put in the description below Darth Mod, if you guys haven't already downloaded the campaign. Alright, so, Bernadotte, we've got some initial Swedish forces here, in Finland, which they currently own. They did push up and invade in St. Petersburg in this series when I took it, but they never actually attacked. They sued for peace. So this is the armies that were pushing for St. Peterbur St. Petersburg. Oh, we probably could have dealt with that. But anyway, Bernadotte is going to battle. Our first major conflict against the Swedes is happening in Finland. Finland. Jean Baptiste Bernadotte versus Michel Ney. Uh, Grimor Bigdenman and Top Elios. Okay, I think that's how you say those names. I have no clue. The Battle of Finland, 1807. So, we will need ships to sail over to Stockholm. Well, let's set things up against the Swedes. A cold, dreary, overcast Scandinavian day. And there seems to be a lot of thick Swedish, Finnish, Scandinavian pines there. So let's form up. It looks like they're going to try and match us. But this should be a good one. The French Grand Armée versing the Swedes. Now, I've obviously sent Bernadotte against the Swedes because the house of Bernadotte now currently sits upon the Swedish throne. And there's no real, there's no way that we can make Bernadotte the crown prince of Sweden without sort of attacking it. It'd be kind of cool if there was like a dilemma that came up. He had a couple of options. Allow Bernadotte to become the Swedish crown prince, and then eventually the king, or pay to, to keep him. So, we've got some old guard here now. This is one of the newer units. Just some standard... Militia there, the 6th Regiment of Foot. We've got some Swiss Grenadiers. And I can't wait to play with those brand new recruited units uh, that are in France. But we've still got a couple more episodes of this Napoleon campaign to come out. So stay tuned for that. So we get our artillery pieces to get their shots off. The roar of the cannon sounds out. Good start. We'll try and get our cavalry around. There does seem to be a lot of cow troops there, though. They're wavering, the ones we're targeting. That's good. 
We'll try and wrap around there on the left-hand side. Just need to make sure they don't form square on me. Actually, no, we might be able to hit that there. Like, straight on. Sometimes it's actually... Yeah, they're going to get one shot off. It's actually sometimes advantageous if you can get a good charge in. Just go for it. Because these guys are very well-trained French lancers against an ill-equipped, poor infantry unit. 14th Regiment. Of, yeah, because most of these guys are actually militia. It's not like an insane Swedish force. They haven't really done much in this campaign. The Ottomans have taken decent territory. The Swedes haven't done too much. Same with the Spanish. It was really the Prussians and the Austrians that took a lot of territory. Okay, now they're starting to push in. My cavalry is now working its way down the Swedish front line. And now they're trying to close the distance because this is exactly where we want them. Charging into my grounded and ready superior infantry. They might have a lot of men, but these militia aren't going to be able to contend with the 4th Light Regiment of foot here. And the fighting is now broken out. 2nd Foot Old Guard. And the 42nd. Bernadotte has had an alright campaign in this series. There's been so many more generals that I've been using him, heavily relying on. Let me know in the comments who do you think has been my greatest marshal in this series. I'm not gonna lie, probably Yokimura has been exceptional for me. Davu until he got blown up by a cannon. Um, yeah, Bernadotte, Massena, Michelne, I've done all right as well. Uh, yeah, we're just absolutely wiping the floor with these Swedish boys. Oh hell yeah! Watch out! Charge in again here. So once we've defeated these two armies, we should be able to move into Finland with impunity. I'm kind of surprised that they actually held on to Finland so long. You'd think the Russians would have wanted Finland. You know what I mean? <laughs> they always tend to want to try and control and take it. They're just throwing in their infantry now, which is probably not a bad play, because there's actually like 500 per unit compared to my... Because looking, just look at my my infantry, right? So only them have a couple hundred, but the militia have like 500. <laughs> They're just going to get outshot and out-reloaded. They're probably better off just like charging in and grinding it to hand-to-hand -hand combat. But they do have more reinforcements. My cavalry uh, has lost a lot of casualties. It's because it's so hard to track cow troops. They just chuck them all over the battlefield, and it's so annoying. Oh, here, here's the reinforcements coming in. <laughs> you just can't see them. They're always so well hidden. Oh, so our reinforcements are here. So who's coming in to help out? Ah, oh. um, Marcel Michelne. He can come up and help. Because we can't afford to lose Bernadotte. Oh, that's annoying. They got dragged into a... Damn spike trap. Okay, so the left-hand side's still holding. Our men are running, sir! Oh, wow. The militia unit of that charge is really pinned down the right flank there. And some of them are in fact retreating. 
Artillery. Make sure you're hitting the guys that are still here. Fighting. Not that, my frames are going crazy. Oh, we've managed to kill one of the generals. I sort of speed things up. Because all we need to do now is essentially wait for the Swedes to come in. There are still a few holding. Oh, we've got another cavalry in here. Let's swing them in. It's because there's only like one deployment zone they're coming in. They're just going to like trickle in one by one by one. I will advance the front line when we need to but for now I can just hold our cavalry is gonna do really well against those units that are just coming in as you can see oh maybe not oh uh, yeah it's just, it was a full health unit but they're just not lasting because they're exhausted now oh good cavalry's coming in first so at least half of the first initial army is routing. But yeah, look at that, man. My right running, flank sir. is actually buckled. Crikey. Yeah, it's because they just charged them in. Let's reform that. <laughs> Keeping the pressure on. It's kind of good that we got cavalry to come in. Just going to get them to hold because as we're moving up our fresh cavalry, the last thing I want is a friendly artillery fire on us. Right, move up there. But so far... This first army is holding quite well. We're fine. We've got this. Oh, there goes the second general. It's only a matter of time. So here comes the reinforcements here. And we'll try and bombard that. Get those shots off. Let's rally up my cavalry. And we'll look to go at it again. So go there. Right. French infantry... Let's advance. Michel Ney can stay back along with Bernadotte. But so far, the first Swedish army, with the loss of their two generals, is now in a full retreat. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Poggers. <laughs> God, I hate that. <laughs> I tend to say perfect a lot. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, nice. Perfect. And then I just tend to replace it with poggers because of the meme. <laughs> so stupid. Poggers. <laughs> oh, this uh, French cavalry is very poggers. Such a lazy word. Yeah, poggers. You just end up replacing like anything that's like semi good with poggers. Right. Ooh. Them forming up there is not very poggers. <laughs> good charge. But, uh, these lances, man, absolutely wreck. Mine got. Right, let's continue to advance. Oh my god, they're just firing on their own troops. Well, that's now been pushed back. Go over and help out them. <laughs> just militia spam is crazy. As if there's like 2,000 there. Who's going to pull them out? They just can't last in combat like that for that long. 
Oh my god, they're actually surrounding me. Quickly now, continue to advance. I'm actually surprised how well they're doing in melee. It's kind of crazy. I never said it was going to be easy dealing with the Swedish. Bernard Dodd is definitely going to earn his throne at this rate. Yeah, now they've gotten their One of our units has used stuff together. Solutions. They've wisened up to the fact that charging in with melee is the play. A glorious victory, sir. All right, push up. We've got this. Just probably took a little bit more casualties than what I would like. Those cavalry started off all right, and then it's got caught and wrecked. Alright, let's continue to run down as many of them as we can, because it's a field battle. Because we don't want to be chasing too far into Finnish territory, we weren't that one there, though. Alrighty, wow, 2,500. Yeah, they outnumbered me by a lot. <laughs> 16,000 they deployed. Yeah, far out. Yeah, I didn't really fully comprehend that they invaded, like, 16,000 Swedes into our territory. It's just militia spam. Man, if they started... If they, like, full-on bayonet charge from the start... It might have actually been... Like, we could have been defeated. It probably could have been doable for the Swedes. But we'll run them down now, and we'll try and push into Finland. Okay, so now we can deal with that other Swedish army. This is militia spam as well. What are they feeding those boys up in Sweden? Fish and crackers? <laughs> no, let's run them down. We have an endless supply of fish and crackers. Alright, move them up. Okay, let's take Finland now. Can we liberate Finland? Like, can Finland be its own faction? I guess. Oh, that's a shame. No, I can't. I was nearly tempted to do that. But, you yeah, know what would happen if we do. It would be the bloody Ottomans would attack them, I guarantee it. Okay, I've skipped a little bit ahead. We're going to push into Stockholm now with the remaining forces, just to get rid of Sweden once and for all. Bernadotte, Michel Ney have landed in Sweden. And victory has sounded out. We can actually liberate and puppet Sweden, but now I'm going to occupy it for Bernadotte. And the French-Swedish War has now ended. Always want to negotiate with the British where I can. Alright, so we could send um, an army down to Denmark, maybe Norway. Maybe that's a burner job. Burner not murder dots job. Okay. Buildings wise, this is what we're currently constructing. Mines and stuff where we can. We're, get, we're getting so much money. So we're just upgrading our infrastructure and our resource management. We need to repair as well. Okay guys, so I fast forwarded quite a bit here because I am rallied and ready to go to war with the British. So this is where we're going to be starting 
at the start of episode 10 coming out tomorrow. We have a whopping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight French units ready to go. Our Navy is ready as well. And we're going to hopefully defeat the last of the British forces and finally put the final nail in the coalition. We're still going to get some French and Ottoman territory as well. But if we, depending on how well the British fight us, if we can steamroll them, because we do have numerical supremacy, we might be able to wrap up the series tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.